Hey, now, you got to love it. you got to love the right-wing side of this equation. Don't they have some fine representatives of the Republican Party? Ann Coulter should be in the dictionary next to Republican as their poster child. Caption, white trash crack whore. Adam's apple, size of Mount Rushmore. She supports the Republican Party, but what else is she supporting? Jeez, makes you wonder what's underneath that dress. Oh, but come to think about it, she don't wear a dress. Maybe it gets a little bit too much swing going on down there, matter of fact. But see, give me a break. You got somebody like this representing the moral high ground? And she's right there with Hannity, Bill O'Reilly, and Rush Limbaugh. Talk about white trash motherfuckers that give good old boys a bad name. That's what's wrong with the right. They let people like Ann Coulter, Bill O'Reilly, Hannity, the rest of the schmucks, represent them. There's nothing good old boy about them. They, they make bank by talking trash. All they do is sling shit on a never-ending basis, and they're good at it. I'll give them two points. They are damn good at it. You take Ann Coulter... Look at how much trash he is putting towards direction at Edwards. You know what that tells you? That little Adam's apple supporting bitch is afraid of him. You know, they got to run with this. Oh, he doesn't support the, the lower income and the, and the working class of this, of this country. He's one of the elite. He gets a $400 haircut and he's got a big house. Oh, that he does, that he does. He's got some pretty much up there with the big boys when it comes to how much cash is in the bank. But let's face it, you give me a politician, I'll show you somebody that's got bank. Without campaign finance reform, we're not going to change that, not anytime soon. But how did he make his bank? He made his bank by going after the big boys representing the people. Did he get fat and happy doing so? Well, hell yeah. But at least it showed that he had the cojones to go after the big boys. And that's what frightens the shit out of Ann Coulter. But I don't blame him for just kind of pushing her off to the side. Because if that is what the represents the Republican Party, they can have it. And if she is the representative of the moral high ground, I'd soon dance with the devil. Because when you start lying to go to war little things like that, I think you've lost moral high ground. It seems to me that, oh my God, homosexuality, it's a sin. But so is greed, gluttony, and vanity. Seems they forget about those three, don't they? But again, let's face it, if the deadly sins were Olympic events, the good old United States would win gold across the board. And Coulter, get a life. Haters like you are old school, and it's soon to be your end time, so to speak. Your career is going to go through its own Armageddon. Because people are sick and tired of hating ass little punks like you. And I say punk because I'm not sure uh, what side of the equation you're actually on. You know, you're kind of shemalish, in my opinion. Like I said, you know, that Adam's apple, awful freaking big. I hope the sex change operation didn't cost you too much. But again, I'm sure you made plenty writing them books. So have fun, take care, and farewell, little crack whore.